we oversee everything, so we plan out um, like when donkey basketball is going to be, we call um, where all the car washes are going to be at, we call the businesses and just give them a heads up. We start calling in Well, we September. start around a month or two before the actual cherry drive is. I enjoy the end result. I like seeing how much money we've raised in such a short period of time. My favorite part of the drive is um, probably in the beginning we're all like, oh my gosh, how, what is this <laughs> going to be like? And um, not the end result, but throughout the drive, just seeing how much fun the kids have doing this and um, what, and especially at the end, what really, how much money we raise mm -hmm. that goes to the hospital to help all those kids is really amazing. Um, it's become a little bit more competitive. Mm -hmm in comparison to the years before, but that's also what has been leading to the amounts raising. Mm -hmm. uh, the classes have been working together though more, for sure. I say over the years people, yeah, people um, come together more. But there's also that sense of competition at the same time. That causes problems yeah. <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah, a little of both. Yeah. I mean, I'm excited to see, this year seems a lot more unpredict unpredictable than the past few years. I'm on Kids Making Miracles Council actually at Dornbeckers as well and we make trips to the hospital regularly and getting to see the kids and where our money's going, it has just been an exceptional feeling and taking other people who haven't been there before, you get the same sense of joy. And last year actually was my first year going inside the hospital and as soon as I walked in, it was amazing. This is, this time of the year is when our community kind of comes together and you see all of the normal faces that you see during like dinners last year, you can see them again. They all come in with smiles and I get a dinner. It's, it's kind of nice to go in. You see all the elderly people that are out and about on their weekend and... You can tell they, it really means something to them. Just not even seeing their reaction to things, but just something as simple as looking at all the silent auction items. You see something that's really you might not even use, it's really pointless, but the bid will go up to $50 just because it's giving something. It allows for the students at the high school to get a personal relationship with our community, actually. You see a lot of intermingling, and parents like to come and help as well, so mm -hmm. students get to interact with their friends' parents more mm -hmm. like during dinners. And you see a lot of connections made that I don't think you would see made otherwise. A lot of connections that are just on a different level than just at any other time of the year. Just because there's so much that goes into this that you have to have that connection to make it work. Uh, I think over the years it's gotten more focused on, correct me if I'm wrong, but the competition. Yeah. And we want to bring it back to what it's really all about. We want it to be more about the kids the that we're helping. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think oh, now, let's, who's, let's see who can raise more money. Yeah, together. it's who raises more money, who gets mm -hmm. Prince of Princess. It's kind of gotten to that point and we want to bring it back to, hey, Look at where this money is going. Yeah. You know what, it, what it's going towards more of who got the who got the crown over the other one type mm -hmm. of thing. We've actually almost reached our million dollar donation at Dornbecker, where I think we're two hundred thousand away. So you're gonna reach it this year? That's the goal. That's so my last year. I mean, past years there have been a lot of. I'm pretty sure this class is gonna win. We feel like this class. This year it's a lot of. We, don't we really have no idea what's going to end up happening. And I, I kind of like that this year just because it's kind of nice to, to not know. Yeah. So That's there's real. like weird random things that, those are the ones that are almost fun. Yeah. Where you yeah. just like come out of your shell and... Because we get to go to all these events and we witness, we have to make sure that they're following everything in accordance. And like you get these new um, events that they have planned and you go and see it and you have like little kids running around and having a good time and there's also the high schoolers that are joining in. So it's it kind of makes you go back to being a little kid again yeah. for a while. And who comes up with the events? Each oh, class each comes class. up. And I, I think it really shows that um, these kids will do anything to raise the money that they, you know, they, and they, they do get out of their shells. I mean, it's 10 days where you'll see parts of people that you've never even known existed and it's, it, it come, a lot comes out of people during this time just to show how much they do want to work towards raising.